Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. I recently got a chance to go tour the workshop for Scar Blades up in Idaho, and I'm excited to talk about two new blades coming brand new off the line from these guys, the Longbow and the Longbow Extreme. Okay, so in terms of specs, these knives are gonna be really, really similar. Your big difference is gonna be in the tang thickness. So you can kind of see right here, you go from 3 16 of an inch right here on the Longbow, all the way up to a full quarter inch blade here on the Longbow Extreme. Otherwise, size-wise, they're gonna be the same. You get a little bit of an added texture right here on the Longbow Extreme as well. Otherwise, sheaths are gonna be very, very similar. Weight-wise, about 8.6 ounces without the sheath, just the blade by itself, okay? Uh, with the sheath included, about 11.8 ounces is what I got on my scale. Size-wise, you get a nice four and a half inch blade here, nine and a half overall, and like I said, about three sixteenths of an inch here, uh, thickness on the blade on the tang. Uh, as far as the extreme, uh, same on in terms of size, about four and a half inch blade, nine and a half overall, but in terms of weight with that added quarter inch blade thickness, you're looking at about 10 and a half ounces without the sheath, bumping up to an even 14 ounces with the sheath. So again, something to consider if you're if you're hiking in and you just don't want the added weight, if you're really counting your ounces, you may want to consider the general uh, longbow instead of the extreme. So in terms of weight considerations, toughness, it really depends on what you're going to be using this for. Both would be excellent hunting knives. In terms of skinning, you can see the generous belly all the way along here. Uh, they come with a, an absolute razor edge. They're going to hold an edge exceptionally well. You're going to be able to put an edge back on them uh, easily. Uh, so again, nothing nothing super high speed in terms of the steel. You know, this thing's going to have it where it counts. It's going to be able to do the work that you need and be light enough to pack. So in terms of the sheath, um, similar to the other sheaths that you've seen from Scar Blades, um, a nice pancake folded uh, kydex style with a swivel belt loop here on the back. But I like what they've done here. You'll see a couple of extra notches, a couple of extra holes here along. I feel like there's a, a, a few more options in terms of mounting this. If I wanted to, you know, maybe actually put it right here on, on my harness. Um, with Like with all the others, you'll have a little hole here for drainage. Uh, should should be, you be out in the rain. And in terms of fit, just going to slide right in and have a nice positive uh, grip in there. But again, using my thumb to pull it out, it, it's perfect. These are full tang knives, okay? So they're they're very beautiful. I love the design. Got a nice piece of jimping right there on the back to be able to grip up and do some work, uh, some fine work, but you're also looking at, you know, being able to grip back on this and do a little bit of chopping. I don't know that I would do this uh, as a full survival knife with batoning. It certainly can. It's, it's tough enough to withstand that. Like all the other knives that Scar does, it's gonna do a differential heat treatment along here. So uh, when he throws this in, it's gonna be upside down. The blade, the flame is going to be coming down to uh, to heat treat the blade especially, but leaving the spine a little bit more pliable to take a beating. Uh, and so these things are just, again, workhorses. They may not be a, a huge chopper like the bear, but they're going to be a nice balance of both worlds in terms of a work knife, a skinner, a hunter, but also just take a beating. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing to the test. That's just ripping right through. No issues at all. I just draw the blade along. I mean, that's just not even fair. You see that? Just right through. No problem. Just no issues. And obviously that comes with a little more Grip back on that. Give it some chuck. Just no problem at all. That's great, man. Yeah. Ha. Right through. Yeah. So all in all, I love both of these knives. Um, 
personally, I don't do a lot of lightweight hiking, so I don't necessarily need the the, the lighter weight. So I just love the ruggedness, the, the toughness of the Longbow Extreme. I think cost-wise, you're looking at about 150, if I remember right, for the Longbow, and about 180 for the Longbow Extreme, again, with the added uh, thickness and, and, and texture here on the handle. Um, again, so the, the, the price is not gonna be that much different between the two blades. It's really, again, what you're, what you're needing uh, out of a knife. Um, but me personally, I just love, <laughs> I love this knife itself. I love the toughness. In terms of color, guys, don't think that these, these are the only options. Uh, like all of the scar blades, you're gonna have a, your, your choice of coating, you're gonna have your choice of colors and, and handle. Uh, give them a call, write them on the website. I'll put all the information down below and uh, feel free to dream with, with these guys and, and pick out the blade that's gonna be just right for you. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, please remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, if I've earned it, and, uh, and be notified of, of future videos that we're going to do. And thanks for watching.